Hi everybody, this is Josh from Pomeroy Creative. This is another another video in our series on designing with Google. And uh, I've had a couple of questions on uh, how I would make something like this in uh, Google Docs. We're in Google Docs this time. We haven't done a video yet for Google Docs. Uh, we've been focusing on drawings and Google Slides. This is Google Docs. Now, this is just basically a glorified text editor. Not to, not to put it down, I think that's a great thing. Um, this is uh, probably the, the, the most used of Google Apps, as far as I'm aware of, um, just for creating quick text documents um, and, you know, for school or for, you know, in our case, we use them in the office to draft our, um, our, our terms and conditions, like you see here, as well as our contracts, and pretty much anything else that we need. A text document for. Now I've got some um, some kind of cool things in here um, and I wanted to create a new letterhead because we're sort of revamping, um, updating our, our um, logo with some bright colors and stuff. So that's what I have here just up in the, uh, the right hand corner. And this is this is a cool feature that um, that Google Docs has which is uh, a header. You, have, you can insert a header and you can insert insert a footer um, and those are under the insert menu here header and footer okay there's also a page break a table of contents bookmarks all sorts of things in there so I've inserted a header and it created this little box up here and what this is going to do is put this on every page in this document I've also inserted a footer with a page number as well that's that's over here in the insert menu too. You can insert a page number. I just put it down at the bottom of the page. And, uh, and what that does is put it puts this whatever I put in here. It will put this on every page. So I've just kept it really simple and subtle. Um, but this is something that's a little bit tricky. Now, if I right click on this and go to table properties and give myself a border, which by default, I think your your uh, tables will have a border, and that's what this is. This is a table. So I created a header, and then I went to insert table, and I just wanted a a one uh, or two by one um, table, so that I could line these things up right in the center. So I've got this text, which is right justified, and I've got this little image which is just a PNG and um, so let's create this together now what I've done is just gone to table properties and turned off of the the stroke there all right let's go back to our Google Drive let's create a new file a new Google Docs and here we are in just a blank Google Doc uh, there's a few things that you can come in here and do. You can go to page setup and change the margins. I put them all at 0.5 um, and kept it at landscape with a page color of white. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to insert header. You see that puts this little thin gray line. And what that shows me is that this is not part of the, the, the document body. This is a header that's going to go on every page. So it's great for using it as like a, a letterhead. All right, next thing I'm going to go right to insert, excuse me, insert table. And I'm going to insert my two by one table. This is what it looks like when you first insert it. I'm going to type in my uh, heading here. And this could be whatever you want. So your company name, and I'm just going to type that. Your company name. And I put it in all caps, just for my preferences. Uh, then I want to right justify that. And let's choose a, a, a nicer font here for this, because this is going to be a heading. So we're going to go up here, and maybe let's use this alpha slab. Maybe uh, 18 points. Now we're over here in the second cell, so the tables work by cells. Here's the first cell, here's the second cell. 
Um, I'm going to select all, both of these, and I want to, um, I want to, what is it? Um, right click, table properties, cell vertical alignment, I want that to be center. Okay, click OK. Now I'm in the second cell. I'm going to center my uh, alignment here, my text alignment. I'm going to go to Insert, Image. And I'm just going to grab a image. Uh, let's just upload a new one. This is probably what you would want to do anyway. So I'm going to go to Upload. I'm going to grab that PNG file. Obviously, this would be your logo, and if you get a PNG file, the nice thing about it is that uh, PNGs preserve transparency. So, um, so if you change the page color or the or the cell uh, background color, there's no background behind this circle here. Now, obviously, this is way too big, so I can just click on it, grab one of these little blue handles, and shrink it down to right about where I want it, something like that. Okay, now I want these to be closer together, so I'm going to grab this middle handle, which is the line between these cells, and drag it over even past the P here. So that gets it just right in the corner, and that's where I want it, right in the corner. Uh, I can also look up here at my rulers to see just about how big that actually is on the paper. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is right click on anywhere in this table, go to table properties and turn off the table border. Make that zero points, click OK. That gets rid of it. So now I have this nice um, you know company name. You could put your date up here. you could uh, you know call this you know something the, the name of your document, whatever, and then a logo. And if you wanted these to be sort of the other way, of course you could do it that way as well. So it could be a logo over in the uh, left hand corner and then the company name you can you know left justify everything uh, that's just how I've put mine I've also in mine um, I clicked just sort of outside the table so when you see just the, the the standard text input tool like that and then I went to insert horizontal line oh I was still inside the table All right okay so I clicked just below the table I see my little blinking cursor there. Insert horizontal line. Okay. And that'll be something that's printed. This little gray line, like when I click back up in this header, this little gray line, that's not going to be printed. But if I insert this horizontal line, that will be printed. One more thing that I want to do, go to Table Properties, put my border back on here. And I just want to see if I can shrink this down anymore. And I can't, and that's okay. That's good. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't any bigger than it needed to be. Now I'm going to turn my border back off like that. And there we go. Now I can start typing. And what I've done in, in my uh, sort of setup document is I used the, the same text up here as my heading text. So if I have any headings... I can, uh, I can just kind of put them in here, and then I can choose uh, a body text, something that goes good with this. Uh, let's see, maybe Lotto, that's a nice body text. And I can just say body text here. And of course, I can make that one smaller, more like 12 point. And then it just gives me some formatting already in my document so that I can straight away just start typing in and using those, those, um, uh, those, those text formats, those fonts that are already in the document. You know, I can just select a piece here, copy, paste it in, and just continue typing using that same font so I don't have to go up here to the font and change it every single time. I can give this a name and save it and then use it as a template for anything that I want to do with this company letterhead. The same way, I can go to Insert, and I just scroll down here so you can see the bottom of the page, and insert a footer. 
Now, not a footnote, but a footer, which is down here, footer. So that inserts a little footer. You see this little gray line here again. I'm going to uh, align this to the right, right alignment, and I'm going to put company name down here again. Select all of that and choose my font. And then I'm going to put a, um, a, a vertical line, a space, and then insert page number, bottom of page. So that's how I, you know, I could create something like you saw in the previous document where I've got my company name at the bottom, a page number, and, um, and just to show you, um, I'll, uh, I'll hit enter here and then insert a page break, which is also uh, command enter on a Mac. So this will just break the page down to the second page here, and you can see that this all updated. So I've got my header here with a horizontal line, company name uh, in the footer, and page number two. That automatically will change. Let's do that again. So I'll insert page break. Here I have the header, company name, page three. So this is a really great way of, of quickly creating um, a document that is consistent through all your pages, gives you, uh, you know, uh, a, a nice page number at the bottom and uh, ability to style that one time. Style the header, style the footer, just one time. Choose the font, whatever you wanted to put in there. You could even say, you could put page and then the number, and that would update the number. Uh, and then you've got a document that's ready to go whenever you need it and looks great. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you create some great letterheads with, this, with these techniques. I'll see you in the next video.